voor hem dokter, eh, professor dokter meneer Ekel eh, in de MSA University. The title of the speech is about uh, post pandemic architecture division transformation. أنا صحيح أعددت الـ presentation بتاعي أو الـ speech بالإنجليزي فمعلش هتكلم باللغة الإنجليزية العنوان بتاعي واللي هو أحد المحاور أو المحور الأول في المؤتمر اللي هو متعلق بالـ post pandemic architectural education transformation اللي بعده لو سمعت The importance of this online international conference is that we are here to give our viewpoint on a very crucial issue we are facing nowadays. It affects our life and our profession as architects. Teaching and learning architecture needs to cope with the advancement in science and technology. It also needs to be more flexible and resilient. The curriculum need radical changes. Design studios are no longer rooted solely on the drawing table. The computer or the whiteboard and the e-podium are not enough. Given that, we are required to answer the following questions. How should the form, size, furniture, and equipment of a studio to be like in the future? This is a very important question. I'm proposing that we can have a special conference on this subject. Next, please. I would like to thank the Architectural Department, Higher Institute of Engineering in Al Shuruk City, and most notably, Professor Manal Yahya, Head of Architecture Department, and the organizing team for organizing this important conference on the resilience in architectural education, as well as inviting me to present my views on the subject, post, which is post-pandemic architectural education transformation. Next, please. It seems the world never changes drastically unless an important event, a revolution, a major war, or new innovations in science and technology happen. The classical system of Beaux-Arts architectural education in France was based on the atelier. The Industrial Revolution led to establishing the Bauhaus approach, which transformed the atelier to a studio workshop which combined technology and art. Ever since, it seems to me that architectural education has been reactive rather than proactive. Resilience in architecture, in education, therefore, translates to the ability of being ready for different situation. I mean, the uh, flexibility and resilience will give this, uh, uh, it's very important nowadays. Though design is at the core of architectural education, we concentrate on the product, not the process. In a research paper entitled An Evaluation of online architectural design, studios during COVID-19 outbreak feedback shows that students link, think the most prominent benefit of online studios appears in the use of digital tools. Another important observation is that if students are equipped with the necessary tools and given the chance to realize themselves, students can work efficiently even at a distance. In another paper entitled, What Will Architecture Design Look Like After COVID-19? Flexible and resilient, it's clear that building for resilience and flexibility 
if the virus is sustained, will be a fundamental element of architecture education. Next, please. Okay. Challenges for online learning. Access to software from off from off campus sites need for high speed broad broadband internet connections. Home settings for many instructors that do not support teaching engagement. Internships and training that are severely limited or non-existent. Some institutions undergoing severe hardship from lack of resources and online infrastructure. In some fields of study, it was relatively easy to move the content of their courses from the whiteboard to Zoom, meeting the power and PowerPoint meetings, Zoom meetings and PowerPoint. But students of architecture face a greater challenge as they were deprived of their creative space, the design studio. What is design studio teaching? Design studio teaching is the heart of learning architecture since it provides a creative space for students to interact with their materials as well as one another. Design studio is a social learning environment where instructors and students interact in physical space within the scope of the studio. Thus, the students are able to learn from the inst instructor as well as from each other. This is, of course, the, th the traditional studio or the existing studio before COVID-19. The design studio in the age of COVID-19, the spirit of the design studio was one thing that could not simply be transferred into an, an online class. Students had to find their creativity and ins inspiration while being locked indoors. The idea of shared creative spaces was replaced by the self-sufficiency of working for one's own room or home office. Students are turning their residences into creative spaces, so there is no longer need to look for inspiration, inspiration outside. How should we reshape architecture school in a post-COVID-19 world? Schools should become a adaptive systems that do not strive to stay the same. They should embed, it, embed change, flexibility and adaptation as part of their curriculum structure, design studio practices and teaching and learning processes. Building for virus resilience and flexibility will be a fundamental element of architecture design going forward. How should we reshape architecture schools in a post-COVID-19 world? There is a need to access the use of different experiences in lectures, studios, workshops and labs, as well as evaluate the degree of students and staff satisfaction. This can be done by using samples, statistical surveys, questionnaires, interviews, etc. Exchange research results between different educational institutions. Provide educational spaces with effective inter internet facilities and Zoom sessions. Provide training for staff, students and technicians for different computer programs, software and equipments. Yesterday in MSA, we had a training session which some of our colleagues show us some new 
or some different uh, programs or softwares uh, for quiz making, for uh, active learning, for it's really it was really very interesting. We are learning more and more about these subjects. Provide design studios with digital cameras, scanners, digitizers, and 3D printing facilities and laser cut tools for model making. Next, please. Survey about impact of COVID-19 on design studio in UK. I will present here this one in UK, another one in Turkey, and also uh, my experience, another uh, third survey in MSA studios. Conducted, this uh, survey was, conduct by, was conducted by so and so at the University of Bath. The target was the teaching staff and students representing 25 universities, nearly 800 students and scores of instructions. The key findings, satisfaction with learning fell by 58% when it moved to remote. Studio culture was significantly damaged. Only 70%, 7% of students and 4% of faculty preferred remote, remote delivery over face-to-face -face teaching. Most students recognized the studio physical environment as necessary to learning. Peer learning and support were most negatively affected. Mental health impacts from isolation and lack of peer support were heavily emphasized. Thus working remotely highlighted resources, resource disparity for delivering professional architectural education. This study was in uh, UK. This survey in Turkey, this, yes, the one before that. Yes, no, the one in Turkey, I've seen it now. Yes, target architecture students, one, two, three, and four years. Key findings includes using digital tools such as Zoom, Skype, and others, they barely, th uh, yes, they barely think that the online studio strengthen their sense of belonging, socializations to their instructors and friends. Have the opportunity to, wa to watch the recorded session of the online critique and juries. Help them to realize their ability to be productive under sudden changing conditions. First year students are more optimistic about online studio than other students. I think those are the Z generation. That might be an area of development for the online design studios. Or encourage the design of hybrid studio studio environment. Next, please. This is now what we experienced in MSA. The first case is the graduation project last semester. In September, in, in spring September 2020, because of the spread of pandemic coronavirus, the government decided to close the universities and all the institutions of higher education. It was 100% online using two software, Zoom, and in MSA we are using Moodle as a learning tool where the students can upload his or her work, sketches and projects. Staff can see, correct, chat, upload, comments, make announcement, and even attend office hours through this program. Next, please. Also, the following measures were applied to facilitate the learning process. Office hour were scheduled among with extra office hours. Whenever there was a need, 
those were announced by the staff using Moodle or by email from the student. For the final jury presentation and discussion were conducted at the university in the studio using data show. Students had to wait outside the studio and were called in one by one, not to have crowdness in the jury space. Next, please. Experience, uh, again, I'm in the same, uh, but now this is another course. This is Design 7. It was the last design course before graduation. The university decided as a policy for the fac faculties to divide the students in two groups. One group cons constituting half the enrolled students were allowed to attend on campus every other week, while the remaining half would go online. Both groups would alternate. The method and tools used for the graduation design project mentioned above were applied. ePodium as first used in the studio learning process. It was followed by Moodle as a program to facilitate e-learning both in studio and distant learning. Currently, Zoom is successfully used for distant learning. I found myself that this uh, experience was much better than the complete isolation at home or uh, distant learning. Next, please. It seems the world never changes drastically unless an important event, a revolution, a major war or new innovation in science and technology happens. I'm sorry, I think uh, I, I, I needed uh, to show you the statist statistics of the two, uh, uh, the graduation project and the, the feedback of the students and the instructor answers. Can we see the slide after this one, please? Next, 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 next. Yes, next. Did I send the wrong one? Yes, here. Those are the re results for the survey of Design 7. The, we, 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 we distributed the questionnaire. The, question, the first question was, how do you prefer to have the design session online or in class or hybrid? That means both the 50-50 the, the uh, teaching. The second question was, tell us your opinion about online learning. Why do you prefer it or not? Write one to three comments. Can we see the statistics, please? Yes. We can find here we have 31% for the 50-50 and 43 for the, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the studio, in-studio teaching, and the, the 26 uh, for the distant learning. Can we see that we had a, a, a sample of 51 students. For the instructors, the in-class in or in-studio is the major, 50%. And the online learning is 20%, and the 50 50 is 30%. I voted for the uh, 50 50 uh, system because it reduces the number of students, the crowdness of students in the studio, especially when we have uh, um, a big number of students. Okay, let's, let's go back to the presentation. I think we went through this. Uh, we went through this one. No, the one after. Yes, here is the, one of the uh, uh, studio sessions for the 50-50. My colleague uh, uh, Shadi Shawki, Sef and Nasr, and I am wearing the cap uh, behind him. We have the masks, all of us and the students. And we are using also, or Dr. Shadi is using the, the a separate camera with a column where we can uh, enlarge or show a sketch or a, a drawing by the student. 
and making discussions about the models and so on and so forth. Next, please. We went through this one and that one. OK. OK, now how this is affecting, I mean, the, the pandemic, how is it affecting the, 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 the standards of buildings? And this will be also for the professionals and for the students who are using the same standards. Different books and references for building types and standards will be reconsidered. Theories, principles and standards will be revised. Personal and bubble space will become the norm. Public and, and semi-public spaces will assume greater importance. Uh, concepts of social distance and its effect on interior and exterior space design will be prominent. Next. I think we are very far away in Shuruq. The, <laughs> there is a lag in time or what? Next, please. Yes. Also in the profession, we can see the, the masters or the stars of uh, international scene like Frank Gehry, Schumacher, Zaha Hadid, uh, Wolf Briggs. Uh, they are using, uh, I mean, uh, sometimes uh, software from the manufacture, uh, drawing and manufacturing of aeroplanes, the Katia software of Thomson Company, which Frank Gehry used for the Biblau Museum. Uh, yes. Professor uh, Nabir, uh, we are sorry to tell you you have only two minutes remaining because we uh, we have to stick to the conference schedule. Okay, okay I'm sorry. I, okay. I'll, I'll try to make it quickly. Ro robotics uh, will be used for the execution of buildings and so on. L next, please. Yes, the, this is are some models showing the 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 what how the inner spaces will be affected for in schools or educational buildings. Next, in cafes to and restaurants to be outside on the ground floor or up on the rooftop. To, to be in the open air. Next, this, uh, I, I, this is an office building. Uh, to, to the left is a company where the, the stations, uh, the, the, the red is uh, not uh, occupied and the green is occupied to keep distance. And this is, it's a home-like atmosphere of the office and they can communicate with, with the online or the distance uh, communication. Next, please. For office spaces, for retail shops and stores. Next, please. I need the extra time for this. <laughs> OK. Next, please. I will come to the conclusions. Recommendations and conclusions. Yes, recommendation. Since design is a rational and thoughtful process, this is concerning the cur curriculum. Please, can we back go back to the recommendation, please? Can I can I continue? Could you give me the permission for two minutes more? Uh, yes, sure. Okay, w one more minute, please, because we have uh, uh, architect Thomas Bounier waiting for the for, for you to uh, to finish your presentation. Okay, okay. so you have let's go to the to the conclusions after this one. You know, sometimes I'm I'm not using it because there is this uh, lag. Please, yes, need to revise the old curriculum. Need to need to have a high tech type of studio, uh, and to search for new software to facilitate the 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 the, the education uh, online and distance. Exchange views from uh, other experiences in Egypt. I'm also. Uh, inviting the schools of architecture in Egypt, who are around 50 or something like that, to make a union of schools of architecture, to meet and discuss the, uh, twice a year or so, to discuss, the, uh, to make focus on special uh, problems in architecture education. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for the delay. Thanks, Dr. Nivayev.